Hey everyone, uh, so this is the part two of the connecting to Resolume uh, from MagicQ uh, tutorial. So please watch the, uh, the first part to actually know all the main parts, how to actually, how it all works. But if you are actually using say Mac, and you're trying to connect uh, MagicQ PC, uh, MagicQ PC software to your Resolume, and you don't know how to actually do it on the same computer, this tutorial is going to be useful for you. So if you're using the Windows PC, uh, so if you're using Windows computer, then you will need to use a virtual adapter called uh, local uh, uh, loopback adapter. So I'm not using Windows here. So uh, if you don't know how to set it up, please look into the uh, watch on the YouTube. On the YouTube, there's a plenty of videos that explain how to set up the uh, the loopback adapter. I may actually leave like a, one of the examples how to do it, but um, in um, in my case, I, 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 may, I may actually done loopback adapter in my, w one of my other videos, but uh, basically um, in th this tutorial is going to be more useful for those that actually use Mac because there is no loopback adapter on the Mac and a lot of people were complaining and and they were just actually getting frustrated that they cannot use Mac and Resolume on the same. Uh, uh, sorry, they can use, they cannot use MagicQ and Resolume on the same PC uh, on the same uh, computer to actually control both systems. So, um, so without further ado, let me show you how to do it. So basically, um, just learn there is no loopback adapter on the Mac. So um, if uh, you're a PC user, you may not you'll find it frustrating. But uh, I found a way how to trick the system and uh, send the data from the Magic UPC into the Resolume on my Mac. So to do this, you need to do a couple of things. So first of all, you have to go into your uh, you have to go into your um, uh, here. So you press um, uh, the Apple button, System Preference. Then you go into your Sharing. And in the sharing, there is an option here called internet sharing. Okay, so um, actually before that, yes, before that, we come here and we press open network preferences. So in the network preferences, I've created a new location. So if you don't know how to create it, just press edit location and press plus create a new location. So you've, I've done my new one. So I called it loopback just to make it easier for myself and then I've chosen the uh, it normally comes by default with the thunder bridge uh, the uh, thunderbolt bridge it's the virtual interface uh, that's called thunderbolt bridge so what you do is you will select it then you press configure IP version 4 and change from using DHCP to manually as soon as you create it, create this, you will be able to type in your IP address. Just for the sake of argument, type in 2.0.0.1 and a subnet mask will be 255.000. After you've done that, we can go back to the option that I've cho uh, I started showing you before. So if you press uh, this button, show all, then you go to the sharing and under the sharing, See, you select the internet sharing, then you come here and says share your connection from, choose Wi-Fi, and make sure that both of your Thunderbolt bridges are selected, or one, you may have one actually, so we can just switch this one off. So Thunderbolt bridge selected, then you click here in the internet sharing, and you say start. So basically what you what I've managed to do is I managed to start internal Wi-Fi hotspot server on my Mac and then I will be sending all my packages through the virtual server back into my system. So this is the only way how to trick it. So then the last thing you do is you will close that window, you come here and you press create network. So when you say create network, you select a channel that you will be using, let's say channel 40, and you press create. So now I selected, I created a uh, computer to computer uh, hotspot. So now you go to the setup again, go to the network, double click and choose 2001. 
So that's the virtual net Thunderbolt bridge adapter that we've created. Yeah, subnet mask is correct. And then I also say send to application on this PC to yes. I don't know whether it's relevant, but I think it is relevant. So you press yes. After that, I mean, I already patched my um, um, uh, Resolume. So if you don't know how to patch it, you press patch, go to the choose head, find a search for Resolume. First patch the Resolume composition file, and then you pa patch as many layers as you want from four to six, I would say is going to be optimal. Then after that, you make uh, you go to the Resolume arena, you go to arena, uh, preference, Go to the DMX, find here in the network adapter, choose Wi-Fi. That's the virtual Wi-Fi we've created. And we press new input. As soon as you add this and the subnet mask, etc., it's all correct. You will see that all your layers uh, intensity channels gone down because it starts seeing MagicQ. So after that, we go to MagicQ. We can select our layer and, for example, press locate. Boom. All our layers are on and we can start working from here. So as you can see, it's not that hard if you know where to look at. So I hope this was useful for the, for, for you all uh, people who use Macs. And uh, this way you can actually pre-program your show using the Resolume and the Magic UPC on the same computer without having uh, like uh, any other connection. Let's say if you're on a bus or on a plane anywhere. So hope that was useful again if you want to see more of the different the other methods of control like when you're mapping through your um uh, through just the dimmer channels then watch the the, the first video the one that explains how to do the uh, connection uh, from two separate machines and uh, yeah and enjoy hope that was useful as well thank you very much and have a lovely day bye bye